Okay, so today's video is, is actually one of the videos I've been wanting to make for a very long time. My wife, uh, the lovely camera assistant I have right now, has been pushing me and pushing me to make this video. Um, it, I don't know what's taking me so long and, and, and what the case is, but one of the, the biggest pet peeves I have as, um, uh, as a mechanic is, is crappy products uh, mass marketed to consumers like you and um, uh, you know to everybody else so there, there's other things like there's oil additives that are crap there's gasoline additives that are crap uh, and, and that's another video right now we're gonna talk about oil filters the oil filters that you put on your doesn't matter if it's diesel if it's gasoline if it's your lawnmower if whatever if it takes oil filter the number one marketing company in the world is Fram filters they, I mean, they have an excellent advertising company. I, I guarantee everybody watching this video, is, when I say Fram, you know what a Fram filter is. You know the, hand it to me, buddy. Yes, sir. You know, everybody recognizes the orange, the bright orange box. Excellent marketing. The worst oil filter on the market, in my opinion. Okay, I don't want to get sued for slander or something, but I'm gonna. what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these and this one up. And I'm going to show you the difference between a good quality filter and the crappiest filter I've ever seen in anywhere. Now, just to tell you how crappy I think Fram is, most oil chain shops you go to, they have these like Mighty, it's all called Mighty Max, or like the, the brand name always changes, all right? And you can buy like a dozen filters for $4 or something like that, some kind of crazy cheap amount. And that's when, when you go to like a Quick Lube, like a, you know, Texas Quick Lube, or not, you know, let's not use somebody's actual name, uh, you know, Joe Bob's, uh, uh, Joe Bob's Quick Lube place. They, they buy all the filters they can get as cheaply as they possibly can. They get the absolute cheapest oil they can, and they charge you the $20, $19.99 oil chain special because you're getting a $1.05 oil filter, and you're getting like three bucks worth of oil, right? Those filters are better than the Fram filters, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to have to cut them open, so i got to use my safety McGarrisles. Are you going to do the Thousand Degree Knife Challenge with this? No. Okay. Oh, yeah! Um, I gotta use my die grinder now. I think I'm out of cutoff wheels, and this—I <laughs> don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, I had a little damage there, so I hope it doesn't fly off and destroy me. But we'll see. I don't think it's okay, something else about uh, filters. Um, you guys can tell I have uh, a Wix and a uh, uh, Napa. This is the exact equivalent for this one. This one is just one I had in storage that went from my old Jeep that I don't have anymore. Just FYI, Wix makes the filters for Napa. Usually, when you look at the part numbers, the only difference in the part numbers is Wix has that five in the front or a three. So the 1085, that would be the Napa filter number. So Wix makes them for Napa. So we're gonna take these out. I gotta fire up the compressor and I'm gonna cut up all three of these filters. Now something else, I do wish other filter manufacturers would put the little texturized grip on the bottom. I do like that about Fram. They have an excellent little grip thing. So you can reach up there by your hand. You can really, you know, uh, get some get some torque on it. Wix and all these other ones don't have that, but it's it's a, it's not a good trade-off. You know, it's not like, well, this one's got the grippy deal, so I'll get this one. No, don't get them. I'll show you why. I'm going to get the compressor fired up. We're going to cut the tops of them off, and I'll... Uh, Probably time lapse it, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. So I've got all three of them open and 
The first one I'm going to show you is the Napa. Remember, Wix makes Napa filters. Uh, the Napa filter. I'm going to show you what a good filter looks like, and I'm going to show you the Wix one, which is going to look exactly the same. But I just want to give you guys a contrast and, and kind of prove the theory to some of you guys. Uh, some of you guys know that. Some of you guys don't. That they're the same. This is what a good filter looks like, and then what the cheap junk that you like. I don't even put Fram on on engines to re, after rebuilds for break in. I don't just because I, I don't trust them. I don't like the way they're designed for a break in oil filter. Anything but Fram. The cheapest oil filter you can find, fantastic. For the first 50 miles, 50 hours, or whatever, you know, that's, that's fine. So, Wix. Right now, let's do the Napa one first. Why is over there checking Facebook instead of filming? I'm seeing if my phone is still charged, so when they call about our house, I have a phone. Okay, first and foremost, you can tell when I cut this open, there's some spring tension inside there, right? That's because there's a spring down at the bottom. We'll get to that. So, the top has a really nice thick gasket it's a, a pretty hard uh it's a square o-ring is what it is but top plate inside here you can see that that's called it an anti-drain back valve right there so what that does is whenever you're like if you have your filter stuck to the side like that that way oil doesn't actually drain back into it it's a check valve so oil comes in one direction and then goes out the other way so just so you guys know all filters work the same. The oil goes from the outside up through the center. Okay, so even fuel filters through the outside, through the center, up to the, uh, the stop. So that's the top plate. It's got a really nice thick top plate. Your anti-drain back valve is a, uh, I don't know what the, uh, maybe I'll look it up, but there's a, the part number is an AAX. You guys probably know what that is, butylene or something, not butylene, but some kind of neoprene. You've got this spacer on top, like a little adapter that also has a little spring check valve in there. Okay, that's an anti-drain back valve also inside. Goes like that. This is the actual filter itself. Okay, you've got an end cap here, an end cap there, and inside there's a steel liner in there. Okay. So the outside filter material, your oil comes in through here. All the particles get trapped in here. The oil comes out there and goes up through the center. And then the bottom is sealed. And on the bottom, you have this spring. So what this is for, what the spring is for, is if you get a whole, like let's say you just, you refuse to do your oil change and it's gone like 50, 60,000 miles in your oil change. What'll happen is this thing gets clogged up too much. The, the pressure will actually push this filter down and out of the way, okay? And it'll bypass oil back into the system instead of the restriction starving your engine for oil it'll allow your engine to get oil and so it's you should never let it get to that point but you know stuff happens so that is what the napa one looks like okay put you there now we'll take out thank you sir i opened it but you how though yeah tell me now no you didn't see anything when he caught it totally Okay. okay. That from your memory. So this is the Napa one, or the, the, is this the Napa? Yeah, this is the Napa one. So this is the equivalent to the Fram. You see the nice spring in there? That's that back, back pressure spring. Still got that nice square O-ring, real nice thick O-ring. Top plate is exactly the same. Now the only difference, this one doesn't have that drain back valve in it. And then the reason they do that is because the, um, Whatever which one this one is for, a lot of times the application, it, it screws up, you know, straight up and down like that, so there's no need for the drain back valve. These ones on the application, when they go into the side of the engine, like on a Jeep, you gotta have that, that, that drain back valve. And what it does is so when you first start your engine up, this thing doesn't have to fill full of oil before it oils everything else. It's already full of oil. So this is the filter material. Again, you see nice steel end caps. The inside's got that nice steel you know, liner in there. The filter, when you try to pull it apart, that's where they actually put it put it together at. Okay, they actually glued it together, and if I try to pry that apart, I can't really get it apart that easy. I wouldn't break it if I were you, Dad. What? Don't break it. Well, I'm gonna, I already broke it, uh, and that's the um, uh, that spring back in there, the spring in the bottom down there that allows it to do that little bypass action. Okay, so that is. The Napa Gold. So now, I'll show you. Here's the junk one. 
I agree. Okay, so you can tell there's just a little, there might not even be a spring in this one. I don't know if there's a spring in it. So here's the, the O-ring to give you a comparison. This is the Wix one. You can tell they skipped a little bit on the O-ring. They're not exactly the same height. They're not exactly the same width. This one is a real soft feeling O-ring, like I can really dig my fingernail into it. This one's a lot harder. Okay. This is the top cap. Okay, now the top cap, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's nice, thick, steel, you know, top cap, so you're not going to strip the threads of it out or anything. Now, here comes the magic. The one reason I hate Fram filters, you see this? This is like a cardboard material that they've hot glued onto the filter material okay it's cardboard i mean that's literally that's that's what you're looking at is this and what happens is every almost every one of these filters after you you've ran it for three to five thousand miles or ten thousand miles or whatever these caps get saturated in oil and they kind of separate something else i wanted to uh show you is look at how 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 much fill the cleat material, the pleat material is in here compared to that. They really skimped on this. And I'm going to take these apart and show you the length differences. You've got a lot more filter material in this, which means you're going to trap a lot more dirt. This one's not going to do it. They skimped out on it because it saves them, you know, a couple of bucks. Something else, I don't have like the uh, boroscope attachment for this. I can't show you real close, but I've seen other people do this. The filter, the, the grid material, I can feel on this one. I mean, this is a lot coarser and it's a lot finer material that they use on this this paper material than this one. This is a lot, uh, it's a lot more uh, uh, open. I don't know the fancy word for it or whatever, but it's- Porous. Yeah, it's a lot, you know, fancy word porous. This is a lot more porous than this one is. This one's a lot, you know, tighter knit. So the inside, I mean, they've got a, uh, like, here, I'll just go ahead and rip this one. Rip that open. Wish I had a razor knife, but I wanted to show you guys. Remember, I was talking about that spring in the bottom. That's Fram's version of a spring. That goes in the bottom like that. That filter goes on top of it, and there's hardly any. If you watch it on here, that's as much spring action as you get. I mean, there we go. Now, if you push it hard enough, you can actually bend it. That's not a spring. I mean, it's just, it just kind of centers it. That's all it does. This is an actual spring. I mean, if, if, you know, I mean, look at the difference. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting this, this cap off. And this is one of the reasons you don't want to use this cardboard deal. You see right there where it's ripping off on that edge? Okay, there's nothing holding it there. There's absolutely nothing holding it to the actual center section, okay? So this separates and then you get unfiltered oil back into your engine. Now something they did change. Okay, bring it here. Um, something they did change is uh, they used to have these three little clips, little metal clips that clipped onto here. And every single one of these I took off, the clips were gone. Um, they were somewhere inside the filter material. Thank you. Uh, and this part would open up. I mean, it would literally just, there would be a huge gap right here. And eventually they went to a solid metal clip thinking that would fix it. And then they figured out, well, maybe we need to actually glue it like every other oil filter manufacturer on the planet does. So, you know, I'm glad to see that they're actually gluing the ends together. Now I haven't tested any brand new filters, uh, uh, Fram oil filters or anything, but I bet you anything, they cheaped out on the glue, and these things aren't glued together. Okay, so we'll get this uh, cardboard paper crap. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. So I'm trying to keep this together because I want to show you guys the difference in the uh, filter material when it's all broken apart. Son brought, well, yeah, <laughs> my son brought me one of my favorite knives, and I, I really don't want to use that knife to cut open a filter. I want to cut open a beer with it. So we'll just uh, see if, uh, oh, it's not going to work. Duh. 
I have the shop in by the way. Okay, well, got a little more to go. So, I guess I can do a little monologue here. Um, like I said, Fran back in the day, uh, back in the 90s, just made an absolute terrible product. And when I was young, I didn't know any difference. I mean, I just bought the Fran filter because it had the, the rubber deal on it. And it's the one that I heard about the most, you know. When you go up to the shelves, Walmart or O'Reilly's or uh, AutoZone. I think AutoZone uh, carried them. I mean, they were just the... There was a whole huge mountain, you know, shelf of them. So I was like, well, that must be the one to use. Then somebody told me about this, and I said, there ain't no way there's a mil there's no way a filter manufacturer that popular would ever make a filter this crappy. So I did a little bit of my own due diligence on it, which I encourage you guys to do on everything too. I pulled one apart, and when I pulled it apart, I could not believe how cheaply and crappily this thing's made. I mean, it's just absolutely terrible. So that's the actual material itself. And what I'm gonna show you is just about the length of my toolbox drawer is how, how wide this filter material is, okay? So this is how much filter material you get which I know what some of you guys are going to know, you're going to say is like, well, how much filter material do you need? Well, if you're going to spend another dollar or two on a filter and get you a good quality filter, I'd rather have it be able to last a little longer than the Fram. So we'll put that one there. Put that pot back there. That back in there. That one back in there. Um, let's use the Napa one, okay? Because that's the... Um, why, why okay, here it is. Okay, okay, I lost it. okay so that is just everything, guys. Let's see. I know I'm gonna get some comments about the the state of my truck. Um, some of you guys that keep asking me about um, uh, if I'll make a tour of this truck, I will eventually make a tour of this truck. But I'm a little embarrassed about there's no organization in a truck right now. It's just all thrown in here, all together. Looks like junk. So what happened is some of you guys know that I have my crane truck. I sold the crane truck to the company that I serviced down here. They bought it. I took all my tools out of there one day and I just threw them in a tr this truck thinking like, or no, um, I sold them that truck and I still continue to use that truck. That truck broke down in Fort Worth on me when I was up there on a road call. I had to throw all my tools into this truck one day. So now, okay. So this is what you're in. You, you end up with a little spool like an Alpha. <sighs> that's a lot of work for me to do to get that off. I mean, that's how it should should come off. And you can tell, I don't know if I can get the bottom one off. No, I can't get the bottom one off. So the way they make these is they, they fill the entire bottom section up full of that glue. Then they put the filter grid in there and then they put the cap together and they squeeze it together. And this thing, it takes a lot of force to get that thing off. Now, obviously, if you take it apart and you twist it off and you're a big 200-pound gorilla, you can manage to get it off. That's the spool. That's the retaining deal that holds this paper material. Now, here. Here, Ethan. Hey, no, don't you don't sharpen that knife, buddy. No, just hold this one, okay? All right. So that's the difference in the filter material that you get from a Fram or from a Wix or Napa filter. Okay, I'm six three, and then I don't know what my wingspan is here, but I think I'm like you know six. It's got to be at least over six three. Okay, now grab that other one, the Fram one. I hold it in that hand and try to put the ends pretty close. Put it underneath it like that, just like that. Okay, so you got another three feet of filter material. All right. That's what you get in a good quality filter. And if you look, I don't know if this trans this will come across in video, 
but the actual material itself, you know, it's it's a lot better quality of material. You can, um, like I said, it's it's one of those like one, the material's thicker. This one's thicker. This one's a lot thinner. It's just it's just crappy, man. And um, I don't know. I can't, I just can't say enough. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, you don't want to sharpen that now because that one has a razor sharp edge. It took a long time to get, and I had somebody do it. All right, you know now. So that is my filter ramp. Um, you gonna do the third one? No. Nah, well, yeah, I can. Okay, so y'all want to see this one real quick, just for references. I wasn't really planning on doing this one. But I'll show you. Like, if I try to just I can't I can't get it apart like that okay so this is the other one pull that end now keep in mind this is a different different application you still have a ton of filter material now it is smaller because one I cut a lot more out of it and it's just I think they're actually the same length are they? no it's yeah, they're about the same length. Yeah. Okay. So this one's for a different application. Um, that goes to show you, this is, you know, Wix, Fram, or Wix, Napa, same filter, Fram, absolute. I mean, and like I said, I got to say this way, in my opinion, my professional opinion, working on this stuff for a long time, um, my opinion is that this is absolute junk. I wouldn't put it on my lawnmower, all right? The fact... That a manufacturer thinks putting cardboard on the end of an oil filter is a good idea just baffles me. I mean, and what it is, it's it's extremely cheap to do it this way. It's a whole lot cheaper to do it this way, and 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 our profit margin is so much higher. You know, Fran's profit margin has got to be ten times higher than Wix's. You know, because Wix is making a quality product. Um, something. Okay, so to wrap it up, I know I'm ranting about this, guys, but. Uh, this is something I'm, I'm extremely, you, know, you can, I mean, my wife has heard me preach about this for years and years and years. She knows that, like, this is, the, I'm passionate about this because what this will cause, this will cause engine failures. This will cause you to have to replace your engine. It will cause dirty oil, you know, oil to get back in the, uh, uh, your engine. It'll cause failures, and I don't like that stuff. I mean, I don't like anything that's mass marketed to the consumer to, to be the best in the market and, and it costs you, you know, it's just, it, it, it pisses me off, you know, to say it the, uh, uh, the nicest, but don't put Fram stuff on your, on your, whatever you have. I don't care what it is. I don't care if your 1943 Tecumseh weed eater or whatever that you found needs a uh, Fram filter. Don't put a Fram filter on it. Wix will make one. All the other oil manuf uh, filter manufacturers out there. I'm not going to get into the debate that Wix makes one better, Baldwin makes one better, Amsoil makes one better. They're all better than Fram. Just don't put them on your stuff. Um, that's my two cents. If you guys um, uh, already knew that, throw the comment down below. If you didn't know that, I would really like some feedback on it. If you did not know the inside of the Fram filter is put together this cheaply, this badly, Put in a comment, man, I never knew that, you know, and, and you're either thankful that you watched the video or you completely disagree with me, either one, and you say, this is this is acceptable, this is, well, you know, tried and true, this will work. Great. Throw it in the comments. Let me know your reasoning behind it. Now, be nice. I do not mind you guys disagreeing with me. It's perfect. I mean, I, I can't stop you from disagreeing with me, and we're all different. We all come from different takes of life. I would like to know your, your take if you think this is a good filter and this is uh acceptable but do it nicely no cuss words if you say i'm gonna you're your biggest idiot blah, blah blah like that i just delete that stuff i don't have no problem with people disagreeing with me but if you're just gonna be nasty there's no sense in having you in the comments but i appreciate you guys watching i hope this helps some of you guys and uh thanks for watching hit that like button comment don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell get out and fix something get out and fix something, fix something.